All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to mix up a mud bed mix for a uh, custom tile shower pan. This is a four to one mud bed mix, basically four parts of water to one bag. I'm gonna use a trash bag today and show you how to do this a little bit different. I've used wheelbarrows, I've used mixing pans, I've used a drill and a bucket, but honestly, a big black trash bag seems to work way simpler, a lot less dust. This is a three mil trash bag, 42 gallon. And basically it's really gonna depend on your moisture that you have, uh, depending on if it's hot or cold, will depend on how much water you need. Uh, here in Florida, it's pretty much gonna be the same um, every time I've mixed one. So basically, I've got four quarts of water already in this bucket here. And you can see I've got actually a line on this bucket. And here's my trash bag. So I've got a recessed shower pan. This is actually going to be a curbless shower. The foundation was opened up and uh, we, we dug it down. We've relined it. We've actually sprayed for termites and the whole nine yards. But anyhow, I'm gonna make this really simple for you. Um, let me grab a bag of mud, and I'm gonna show you how clean this comes out. Like I said, there's really no dust, no nothing, and this comes out like super perfect. So let me grab a bag of mud. Well, first, let me get this thing to quit turning a little bit so that you can follow me here. Let's see. Just a moment. Okay. All right, and this is basically the consistency. You do not want this wet. If it is soaking wet, chances are it's gonna get down into that drain. And being that there's plastic on the ground, there's nowhere for the water to get and escape. So this is uh, about five bags so far. This is a huge shower. It's uh, right at eight and a half foot long by right at, I believe five foot wide. So anyhow, let me grab this bag of mud. Like I said, this, this works for me. It's very simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a slit in this bag of cement or mud band mix, and then I'm gonna put some ears on it so it flips over like so. And I'll show you what I did here. So I cut it across this way and then went ahead and cut it here and here so that that lip will fold over into that bag. I'm actually mixing right here in the bedroom. This is a uh, remodel, so we don't really have no floors or nothing to worry about. Let me go ahead and dump this first bag in here. You really probably should only do one bag at a time, being that you're gonna flip this multiple times. So just kind of pull the sides of your trash bag up a little bit as you go to make sure it doesn't spill out everywhere. All right, there's the 55 pound bag, it's in there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull my bag up tight, just like you were taking out the trash. I'm gonna hold one in, I'm gonna grab my water bucket, and I'm gonna dump the whole bucket in it. There it is, all right. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna choke up on that bag a little bit. Leave a little bit of room so the air can escape the bag. Don't squeeze it super tight. Go ahead and leave a little bit of room. And then this is all you really gotta do. Grab the corners of the trash bag. You wanna flip them so that nothing gets caught in the corner. You see how I've got air in the bag? I'm gonna go ahead and get that air out. So I'm gonna go flip it like this. I'm gonna shake them corners out, make sure my water doesn't get stuck in there. Okay, do it a few times, roll the bag around. Be careful not to let it open up on you because it will make a you know, heck of a mess. All right, so now once I've got that done, basically all I'm gonna do is just massage the concrete inside that bag. I'm gonna do it a few times. Grab the bottom, kind of flip it backwards. Mix it like so. Okay. Now, choke back up on the bag, flip the whole bag over, and repeat. I promise you, this is way quicker, way less dust, 
you might not even see any dust in this video. Massage the bag. Again, these corners right here, you need to make sure that you pull them up and get out all the water or anything that may get caught in it. You can actually squeeze your hands together and you can fill the cement inside that bag. You're just kind of grabbing it, shaking it, throwing it, pushing it all around. To me, this is so much simpler than any other way I've ever tried it. And I'm gonna show you how good it comes out. Flip it again. Remember, I'm grabbing that corner, making sure everything's out of it. Roll that around. You see, I'm kind of lifting the mud here and throw it. Throwing it inside the bag, not out the bag, of course. And here, this one should be, should be about ready. For video purposes, I'll go ahead and shake it a little bit more than I normally do. Just in case anybody says it wasn't mixed good enough, we'll make sure. Honestly, that should be about it. All right, now let me turn my camera over here. I'm gonna dump that right in the very back corner back there. points at the bottom of the trash bag, pull them to the center, lift that bag up, there you go. Completely mixed. So here is the fine result. We can push through this and look anywhere you want in it. It's all mixed. You see, I don't have all that water all over my hands. That's definitely key to mixing a mud pan. Too wet will definitely not work. So, I hope this will help somebody else. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.